Hey everybody, Coach Wayne here. Today I want to talk about communication. As a leader, you're going to have to step up and communicate with the coaches, communicate with your teammates, communicate with your peers, other leaders. And what most, most people miss as they're going through and thinking about communication, they think that it's quite often, let me just deliver the message. Hey players, I need you to do X. Hey coach, this is where we are and what we need to get done. And that's part of it. But the other part as you go through is the communication is only about 20% of the audio message that you deliver and 80% visual about what you do. So as you're going through and you're working with your teammates and you want to get a message across, you need to motivate them to get to the next level. You're trying to convince them that they can win the game. You're trying to convince them that we can get out of this hole. You're encouraging them for what they've done, how they've done a good job. When you deliver the message, it has to be both the audio as well as the visual of what you do and how you say it. So if you're going to walk up to Johnny and encourage Johnny, so you've seen him make a mistake, you're going to encourage him, all right, Johnny, that's okay. Let's get this done. Or if you go up, okay, Johnny, that's okay. Let's get this done. You see how my face tells a total different story than what I just said. If you walk up, come on, Johnny, you've got this. Again, it tells a very different message. So you need to think beyond just the words you're going to say. You need to think about how you're going to say them, the message that it's going to get across. When your team is down and you need to motivate them, not only are you going to have to have them watch you and see you pull yourself out of the hole and then get to the next level and work harder to win that game. You're also going to have to turn around and talk to them, whether it is in the huddle or you're getting together in the circle or you're sitting on the bench and you're having a meeting with the coach and everybody's coming back in. What are you saying to your teammates with your face and with your body? Because that, again, is 80% of what you're telling them. Are they going to believe you in what you said and how you've done it? If you walk up and you see Sue make a mistake on the basketball court, or you see Michelle running track and she can't quite get across the hurdle, and you look and you roll your eyes and you come up, come on, you can do better. What message did they take away? Did they take away that you were concerned and you really want them to do better? or that you just don't believe in them at all. So next time you're trying to get your message across to your teammates, your coaches, parents, think both about the words coming out of your mouth and also what it's gonna look like when you say it. Hope this helps. Have a great day. Click the subscribe button, notification bell, leave any comments or questions you have below, and I'll see you in the next video.